Hi, welcome. I'm going over all the articles on articolinux.com and I noticed there is no, uh, there is an application or there is a tutorial about Dropbox, which is working here, upgrading Dropbox. Everything you put on there is going to be synced on Linux, which is great because I am, uh, well, that's my advice that I say, look, and Linux can be difficult at first, so make sure that all your files are safe. So put everything on a cloud. So Dropbox is a good alternative. There is also Google Drive. And this is going to be about InSync. So InSync is an application and also a website, of course. Let me first clean up all these tabs that are open standard. I use 17 tabs or something like that to open all my important pages. So InSync is a mini desktop file manager for your Google Drive, okay? So you have to sign in with Google since it's a Google Drive, you know? But um, check out, well, everything is going to be synced here. By the way, Raindrop is my alternative for Xmarks for the moment. So there's a pricing involved. Unfortunately, it's a one-time thing, but even so, um, so Windows, Mac, Linux, everything works and you sync actually what um, what's on there on your Google Drive. So you can also say what not to sync and all that, like Dropbox. Now the thing is, uh, let's install it. So Control T, we have Packer to install so as a helper. There's also Trizen available. You just see what you like the best and use that one. InSync is installed, as you see here. So I, get, I could uh, obviously show you how to install it. And the fun in this Trizen is that you say enter, 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 and then everything is installed. In the meantime, when this is installing, so reinstalling, so let's move that out of the way. We can start it by typing, of course, InSync, so launch InSync. And then it's going to, ask, going to ask a lot of questions. What is a lot? Well, it wants to have access to my account, which is ericdubois.gmail.com. So I say, yeah, that's okay. I do want that. And then it says, hey, there is nothing set here. Do you want me to put it in here? And I don't like to see my email address there. So I change this and I tell them that I want this file to take. So you can make your own file, create a new folder with my scripts that was already created. So I only need to point to it and say choose and set a sync folder. Then it says, okay, sync and share, perform various actions on your items with the right mouse click. There was an update um, earlier on and we have to learn a little bit more how to sync. So a few tips to help you along, double click a file to sync on demand and next click on the file and hit your spacebar to open a preview and some right mouse click for Google Docs so you can make a Google slide, drawing, form, sheet, doc. And that's it. And then you have this new information. Um, so the overview of my drive with all the folders in it. You can say pause syncing and you can say shared with me team drives which is already also paid. Uh, so we're not going to do that. And um, you can see here what's going on in the feed and the progress, incoming shares, sync none, it's proper, well, it's what I do. Uh, so he's still signing in and at some point in time he's going to download stuff. But I, for instance, uh, let's give an example. So if we go to the InSync folder, which is here, nothing is there. Let's put this one there. And let's, do I need, still need this? Cancel, 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 cancel. Dropbox is going to die. You know, pretty soon, 1st of May, it's gone. So Raindrop is my alternative for that. I was going to show you something and that's in here, is it? So this file is not downloaded yet. Right mouse click sync. And there you have it. It's now synced to my machine. What do I want as well? I want this one. I want Arch Linux to be synced. These are all the folders, not necessary. To get started is interesting. All the Google Photos are 
gigabytes of all the photos on there so no i'm not gonna sing those logo from eric from time to time i have to make a new account somewhere and then have this my image that i use and all the rest is uh, not needed and that's how you decide what you want to have and what you uh, don't want to have and then everything is synced so everything i put in here will also be put online when i move to the other computer it will be there as well so that's in sync for you it's uh it's advanced it's, it has the same features as dropbox and it's fun to work with but it does cost some money uh, you be the judge if you like it you have i think what, what did i see 14 days of um, testing time or something i just saw something about that so you try it out and see if you like it cheers